Hi everyone, this is Joanne from Down Memory Lane and welcome to our second Cricut uh, video. In this video I'm going to go over a few more of the buttons on the Cricut starting with the set paper size button. And you will use the set paper size, size button which is right here. You will use that when you have a piece of paper, a piece of cardstock that is not the full 12 by 12 size. And what you'll do is you will press load paper and then you'll use the arrow keys that are around your cut button to get your blade into the top right hand corner of the paper. And it goes pretty fast. So you'll position it right in that top right hand corner of the paper. At that point you would press set paper size and the computer actually tells you what size your paper is. So for, for this video I'm still using the planted school book like I was uh, in the uh, last video and I'm going to try and cut this flower. And what I'm going to show you is if I, if I give it too large of a size, which I'll move this up to say like 9 inches and I tell the Cricut that I want to cut a 9 inch flower but obviously a 9 inch flower is going to be way too big for this paper if I press cut it's going to beep at me and tell me that it's not gonna it can't cut that oops I'm sorry <laughs> my mistake I did not uh, select the flower yet I have shift lock on okay All right, there's the flower there. Uh, and it still is set at 9 inches, so now the machine will beep at me. Did you hear it beep? And then it says the characters won't fit. You need to change your size. And so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move it down to 1 and a quarter. And the flower has still been um, selected, so I'm going to press cut, and it will just go ahead and cut. And that's how you use set paper size. That's how you use up any piece of cardstock that you have. You would put it down in this left hand bottom corner. You line it up with the left hand bottom corner. And then you move your blade to the upper right hand corner of the paper and press set paper size. And then you can use your scraps for that. I'm also going to show you a couple of other uh, buttons on the machine and I'm actually going to move my blade over maybe right to here and uh, I'm going to type in the word dog again like I did in the last video oops, gotta wait for the D o. and I'm actually going to type in a C instead of a G so it registers as doc and then I realized, oops, I don't want it to say doc, I want it to say dog. So I would use the backspace key, which is located up in this corner here, and it will backspace, it'll take out just that last letter that I typed in, or that last image. So we're back to the O, and I can type the word dog. I mean, I can <laughs> type the letter G in. And so then I've got the word dog, and if I wanted to, if it was at the right size and I wanted to cut it, I could just press cut at this point. If I typed in the whole word dog and realized, oh, I didn't even want that at all, I could actually press clear display, and it will take out the whole, it'll take out everything that you entered in. It'll take you right back to the very beginning, and you can start over again pressing the characters that you had wanted in the first place. Well, for this uh, video, that's it. And uh, I thank you for uh, listening to our video, and I hope that you'll come back for our next videos. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.